Hi, this is Nick from Canada Weld coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. So we wrapped up our series on the SLM video. Now we're going to begin a series on this, the TIG ACDC 201 Pulse D. Now that name is a bit of a mouthful and it actually doesn't even tell you everything that it can do. So I'm going to tell you that right now and then we're going to start off with some DC welding today and we're going to do a butt joint today on some quarter inch thick steel. We had a comment the other day that people always, they were asking me, Nick, why is it always lap joints? Why do you always, always, always do lap joints? I always do lap joints because they're the easiest and I'm trying to make these look nice for you guys. So today we're going to challenge ourselves a little more. We're going to do a butt joint here. I've already got it tacked together with a 16th inch of a gap. Uh, I didn't bring my grinder with me today, so we're going to be doing this with no bevel, so we're going to lack a bit of penetration, but let's just see how it goes and let's see if I remember how to do this because it's been quite a while since somebody paid me to run this bead. Now, let's run through the name. TIG ACDC. So it's a TIG machine? Yes. High frequency start? Yes. Will it work with thumb controls? Yes. That's what it comes with. Is it compatible with a foot pedal? Yes, it is. I'm going to be using the foot pedal today because I like a foot pedal better. AC, DC. AC means I have alternating current so I can also weld aluminum with this. DC, I can weld mild steel with it, stainless steel as well. 201, forget about the one, just remember the 200. It's a 200 amp machine when it's plugged in to a 240 volt uh, input. Pulse. This machine has a pulse feature on it, which we're gonna do a short clip on that as well. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up for pulse and we're gonna run some pulse speeds. And lastly, what does that D mean? The D means that it's dual voltage, which is awesome. That's my favorite part of this machine. You can take this machine and use, uh, we sell a little extension cord that comes with it. You can plug the 220 into a 110. So if you're not working in a shop and you're just a guy working in your garage and you don't have access to that big power, you don't want to unplug your oven or your fridge so that you can do some welding in the kitchen. You can use this dual voltage. Like I said, you adjust it in the back. There's just one little knob that you turn. You set it from 240 to 120. And when you do that, you won't have the full range of 200 amps on here, but you're going to have usually about 115 to 120, depending on the setup in your house. Still lots of power to do whatever you need to do. Lastly, the thing I like about this machine, if everything fails, you got no gas, you got no rods, you got no tungstens, or you just don't know how to TIG weld, this is also a 200 amp stick welder. And again, it's a dual voltage. So it's got a lot of versatility here. You can do your steel, your stainless steel, your aluminum, TIG welding, pulse, dual voltage, and stick welding all in one unit. This is by far, pretty sure, my favorite machine that Canada Weld makes. I use it all the time, okay? So without further ado, now that we've run through that, I'm going to weld this butt joint for you guys and we're going to see how it goes. All right, so let's run through the setup. So like I said earlier, today we're going to be welding mild steel, quarter inch thick, and we're going to be using the foot pedal. So it looks to me like somebody was doing pulse on aluminum with four step, and it looks like it was thin because they only got 37 amps. So let's set this up the way I like it. That's my high frequency start. You gotta have the high frequency start on. If you got the option, use it every time. I'm gonna take pulse off today because that's not the video I'm doing. Because I'm using the foot pedal, I wanna be in two step. You don't wanna try to use your foot pedal in four step, it's very confusing. We need to switch down to DC because we're welding mild steel, right? We don't need to worry about this because that's for stick welding. Now, let's run through our options on the dial. Pre-flow of gas. Eight seconds for mild steel, that's a waste of gas. Let's go with three seconds. It's more than plenty. Upslope, we don't gotta worry about. Upslope time, I'm gonna set that to zero because I want an immediate response on my foot pedal. This is the amperage right now. So I'm set to 170, 13 when it's resting. So. I should be welding this quarter inch thick plate at around 140. So I'm going to drop this down to 150 just so I got a little bit extra for my start. Yeah, let's go with 150 and see how it runs for us. Oh, zero on the down slope. And post flow of gas, five seconds. Again, it's mild steel. Let's just go ahead and keep that at an even three. Boom. Okay. So now we're set. We are ready to blast off with this machine and see how it runs.
OK, so uh, we actually ended up running this bead three times. And like I said, we're going to have some tinted and untinted footage for you guys. But here it is. Came out pretty good. Uh, I actually thought it was going to be dirtier because I couldn't get all the mill scale off. And I really just gave it a quick wire brush. But I mean, heck, that's not bad at all. Uh, ran really smooth with the foot pedal. And putting 150 on the dial for my amperage was absolutely the right choice. I could pretty much bottom out the pedal with just a little bit of space left if I needed it. And uh, yeah, it felt really good, felt really smooth. So I'm happy with that. Okay guys, that pretty much wraps up the first part of our TIG ACDC Pulse 201D video. We did our DC welding today. I think it came out really good. Next week, uh, why don't you guys decide? Hit me in the comments if you want to see pulse welding next. We'll do pulse welding next week. And if you guys want to do AC welding on some aluminum, I'll bring in some aluminum and we'll do that instead. And we're just going to slowly run through everything that this machine does. Uh, in the meantime, stay tuned. More content getting posted every week. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. And until I catch you guys next week, stay safe out there and keep making a lot of money. Thanks.